Get this battle work started on this camera right here. First, we're gonna clean it up, wash it up real good, cause we don't want to start sanding. We got dirt all over the place. Might sand that dirt into the uh, paint. They have some kind of reaction, so we're gonna clean it up real good first. Finished up cleaning the Camara, so I got to get my tools to start the body work. Mainly, I'm just going to use this DA. It's electric DA. I'm going to take it outside because I'm not going to bring the Camara on the inside because it doesn't have a motor in it at the time. And I'm not going to keep pushing it in and out. So most of the work is going to be done outside. So what I got, I got some 80 grit sandpaper. And I'm just really going to walk around the car. And wherever I see a ding... I'm just going to do the smaller dings first. Wherever I see a ding, I'm going to hit it with the DA so I know where to wipe some filler. So let's go get that started. This is how you can find dings and dents. Kind of look at the car at an angle down the side. Like you can see one here. Also here. Might not be picking up. You got your two here. And when you find them, you could either use a screwdriver, scratch the air, or you can use a piece of tape or a pencil, just to let you know where it's at, so then you can go back and sand it with the DA. I think I'm going to use a piece of tape, go around, try to find all of them, which you might got to do it a couple of times, because sometimes the dents hard to see, especially when the paint dull. But you just got to walk the car a few times. Then you might still see some when you start doing the body work. You just got to keep looking. The whole process of doing the body work. So let me go around the car. Like these big ones here. I'm going to have to pull these out. Like this down here. I'm going to have to pull it out. Then this one here. Here I got to pull out. It's a, like a crease there. Some dings here. Then in this door, I'm gonna have to pull that out. Some dings there. This back bumper, I'm gonna have to sand out these spider web, out the spider webbing. The front bumper the same way. Take the up here. And this front bumper. See spider webbing. Then this flaking and peeling here. Have the feather edge out there. It's doing a lot of spider webbing on the front and flaking. You can see it's chipping there. Dings. It's not too bad, but there's a lot of spots here and there that's going to have to be addressed. You just got to take the time. And just look over the car real good and make sure you don't miss nothing because it's easy to miss something. If that paint ain't glossy, when it's done, it's just a lot of bubbles up coming up right here. A lot of them. So I went around the car and put some masking tape on my little spots I need to sand down with the DA. I seen a few little smaller areas that I could block out 
Once I sand the whole car with the DA and block it, they'll come out. They ain't no really major dents. This is like a push up here. This one and that one's like when they put the hood on, they dented it on from the inside. Like that in here. Probably where the latch at. The spots here, I gotta sand down. I removed this little trim piece that go right here on both doors. Also the side molding. I gotta clean off this glue. I'm gonna use a putter knife to clean it off, then I'm gonna hit it with the 80 grit. It look like it's some rust coming up right here. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. I also removed a piece to hold the antenna on so I can clean this up. A little surface rust coming up and it's chipped up, so got that out the way. I done done the other side, so I'm gonna clean up this and see how bad this surface rust is. Try to clean all that up. Got this feather edged here. I also did the other side. Let me show it to you right quick. I just gotta go back in and fill it up with primer, then block it, make it even out with the other, the good paint. And I'm gonna start working on this here. I just gotta knock this in, even it out. I'm gonna use my body hammers to do that with. I've been sanding this down. I gotta fill that in with some filler. Also right here. You can't tell nothing because I done sanded it down. I gotta pull this out with the dent puller. With the stud welder. I'm gonna use that to pull that out. But first I'm gonna have to Get all this down to bare metal. And I'm gonna use my flap disc to do this. To do that with this flap disc on the angle grounder. So let me take care of that, get this down to bare metal, then I'll pull it out with the stud welder. Pretty much got this here knocked out. It ain't smooth, but once I put some fill on it, I'm gonna put some fiberglass fill on it first. Strengthen it up some. Then I'll go back with some filler. But it's pretty much knocked out. I'm working on this up here now. I got my studs welded in. I just gotta pull them out with this piece here. Pull it out with this dent puller, with this puller here. I still gotta grind this down to brown metal because I gotta pull it out also. I'm working on the major dents now. This big dent and this one here. Once I pulled the dent out with the stud welder and the dent puller, I had wiped some fiberglass full on it. I like to do that on my big dents because it's more, this fiberglass filler is a lot better than just regular body filler. 
it's a lot stronger. Then I wipe this down. Well, not wipe it down, sand it down. And I'll put some regular filler on top of this once I sand this down. And while I'm doing that, I fill out my other spots with filler that I got marked. Like this spot here, I fill them with filler. Got a few spots up here. I also started taking my lights and stuff out because you want to take them out before you start sanding around it. So you want them some, like this one here. My tail lights, I'm going to take them out, take the tag off. And I'm going to take this wing, take that wing off because ain't no way I could paint it with that wing on. Tail lights are out. I also took some Walmart bags and covered up the lights. So I won't get paint on them. And I also took the wing off. I'm going to have to repair some of the fasteners on the wing, like these here. I think, let me see, it was three that stayed in, but that one, that one came off now, as I touched it. But I'm going to have to either fiberglass back together or put some plastic burn on it. On these here, they go up in there. You could see it had cracked. The plastic had cracked. It was so brittle. So I'm going to have to fix that before I put it back on. And I believe I'm going to take this piece here off. Because this is the only part I'm going to have to paint. This part back here. I think I'm going to take that off and paint it separate. Because I'm going to paint this here black. The little edge around there. I'm also going to paint this black. So I'm going to take this off and paint it separate because it looked like it just come off in one piece. Then the glass and the trim just stay on. I'm removing this trim piece right here to separate the windshield from the body of the car. So you want to remove this so you can get paint up in there. Because if you just leave it on there and paint up to it, it'll flake just like that right there. You want to seal all that off. By doing that, you'll get a cleaner paint job. Very simple to remove it. See how this is? How they painted up to it. And it's flaking. We don't want to have that problem. I got some A to get on the DA. I'm just trying to knock all these high surface down, which I know I ain't going to be able to get it down smooth. I'm going to have to fill it up with primer. I'll put some little lightweight glaze and put it feather it out. But I'm trying to get it smooth as I can. Moved around to the front bumper now. See I got the headlights, the marker light, and the emblem off. It's the same process as the back bumper. See all this spider webbing and paint chips. Just trying to feather edge this so it'll be kind of smooth. You might not get it real smooth, but you can put some filler in it and primer and fill it up. 80 grit on the DA. See up in here. Just got to get rid of the cracks. Got this sanded down completely. I got a crack right here. Do you see it? And I'm gonna fix that with some fiberglass. Got some fiberglass resin now. I got some fiberglass mat. I'm gonna soak it. Alright, I'm sanded the back part up. I'm gonna put it in the back. 
but I'm gonna open this up some before I put it in the back. So let me take care of that. I'm gonna open it up with this box cutter. I took my box cutter and open it up. That's so when I do uh, fiberglass the back of it, I'm gonna come back with some bundle glass fiberglass filler and put it in the front. Cause if, if I wouldn't have done that, it wouldn't have been no gap or nothing. It wouldn't be really no place that fiberglass filler could burn to. So that's why I opened it up. I got my resin here. I'm just going to put some harden in it. Then I'm going to let this soak in it. Then I'll put it on the back side. I sanded down the fiberglass filler I had put on it. Kind of shaped it up. Now I'm ready to put some body fill on all my low areas. Like I'm going to wipe some on top of this. I'm going to put some over here. And I'm going to put some right here. I had knocked this down because this was a high area. Put some there. All my little spots that I found at first. Wipe some on top of this. All the air is white with body filler. Take you around it. So what I'm going to do now, all the areas that I didn't hit when I was trying to find all the repair spots, I hit everything with 80 grit on the repair spots. But I'm going to go back and hit the rest of it with 180. Just so the primer sticks once I start blocking these these repairs but I'm also going to hit these with 180 also while I'm hitting this just to knock it down but I ain't going to hit it too much I'm just going to knock it down so I can block the rest of it I finally was able to push the car on the inside Justin came over here this morning so we pushed on on the inside after we put his wheels on, we put the forges on at 22 inches. At first I said he was going with 24 inch doves, but he sold them and picked these up so he ain't got to do no cutting. The front looked like it's a 3 inch lip on the front. And the back got a 5 inch lip. Offset. But I had started sanding everything yesterday, and then it started raining on me, so I had to stop and cover it up. That's why I got them rain marks and dust everywhere. I didn't wash it off, so I just got to finish up on the sand. It's mainly this front. Got to sand that on down. But everything else been sanded. I got to hit. I got to put some glaze and put it here. Put some more right here where I got this tape in. But other than that, the sanding process, I gotta hit that again. Got a little surface rust trying to come back up. And I also gotta finish taking these T-tops out. I gotta do the other side so I can remove this, sand all that down. And I'm gonna take the door panels, take them out. Get everything prepped up. That's about it. I finish sanding everything, then I wipe everything down, get ready to start shooting some primer. I'm gonna shoot some epoxy on the bumpers, make sure the primer stick good. Then I hit it with some high bill. So let me take care of that. I'm making a little progress now. So you see. Got the T-tops out completely, all the weather stripping. Now I can see all the metal. See how bad it was, which is not bad. Just a little surface rust here. Also some here. Gotta get that, clean that up right there. And there's a little bit more on that side. All up in here, solid. worst of it was this piece here to separate the uh, glass 
That's what's the worst of it. Which is not eight through. Just gotta do a little cleaning up. I think it'll be fine. Cleaning up and priming it. Gotta clean this up also. And I done took the door panels, the locks and the handles off. All the weather stripping from this door. Let's open it up. I can get it open. Wait one second. I got the one to sweep out. It's right here. I'm gonna have to get a new one. All the weather stripping off. I'm gonna take the ground effect off also. I started cleaning this up. I gotta do the other side, I'm trying to feather edge that. Get all the surface rust up. I'm gonna take it to the other side and I'll show you. Also took the back glass out. So I can clean this up here. Gotta take this mirror out. That's what I was talking about. I gotta feather edge that like I did the other side. Clean it up. That's the rust I gotta clean up also. Got to take the bin out. I'm just taking everything off that I can. Get a cleaner paint job. And trying to leave it on and mask around it. Tuck the rocker panels off, side skirt, whatever you want to call it. That's this piece here. You go at the bottom of the door. And I got these pieces here. Back here. So I clean this up. Somebody need to be fixed because the five glass cracked. Right here on that piece there, so I'm gonna have to refiber glass that. But I was looking at the T top where I thought it was rust, it's actually two sided tape. See, look back here, it's just two sided tape. So I can just get that up, so I'd be good on that. Then along this channel here. That's actually a seam filler that was in there. They had that rust in it. It's not bad as I thought. I thought it was. So that's good metal. Finishing up on the sand in there. I had went around all my spots that I repaired and I hit it with 180 on the block, on the door block. And I also I scuffed up with this scotch right. I just scuffed up around my fender wheels. I still got to do the jams. I brought it outside to clean it up. I'm going to clean the jams first. And 
also cleaned up here. Good. I sanded this back part down to bare metal. Gotta scuff this up back here. I'm gonna do it with the maroon scotch right. Push the car back on the inside after I got through washing it up. But I found a few more spots like here. I gotta hit this again with some 180. This I found this, this little area here. And this right here was pushed up. I had to knock them down, put some fill on it. But when you put that water on it, it showed all the little imperfections a lot better. Once I had wet it up, I seen those. And I'm probably going to find some more once I prime it. But I got to mask everything up first, so that's what I'm going to do. Mask this hatch up and the T-tops and the windshield. So let me take care of that. Finished up with the mask and ready to be primed. I'm going to prime all my bare metal spots first. Also the front and rear bumper. I'm going to spray it with epoxy. Then once I spray that, I'm going to come back and hit all my repair spots with high beer primer. Then I sand that down. Then I come back and spray the whole entire car. So let me go on and mix up some epoxy. Then I'll cut you back on. Finished up with the epoxy. Now I'm going to mix up some urethane high beer primer. And I'm going to spray high beer over this epoxy and also my repair areas. So let me get that taken care of. Finished up with the high beer primer. I just did the repair areas and the spots I sprayed the epoxy on the bare metal spots. Now I can see a lot of my imperfections, especially on these bumpers. 
I tried to fill a lot of the cracks up with the high bear primer, but some of them you still can see, like right here, little spots there. I'm going to wipe some glaze and put it on those spots, like up in there. Little spot here. The blocking will take care of a lot of it. But the bigger spots, I'm just going to put some glaze and put it on it. And then I'm going to spray some guide coat over this. Then I start blocking it. Probably can see a little spot there. I'm just going to use some, I'm going to use this here for the glazing put it on the minor imperfections. Anything bigger, I use two part. And once I finish that, I'm going to spray my guide coat. I'm just going to use flat black spray paint. Got the glazing put it down on these bumpers. I had to put a lot of it because it was a lot of imperfections and cracks. From the beginning, I'm just trying to feather it out. Got some here. On the front, it was real bad. Now, I'm going to spray my guide coat. I'm just going to lightly put it on. I'm going to put it on the bumper. And I'm going to put it on my repair spots. I'm not going to worry about the bright metal spots because it's already flat and smooth. ready to be blocked now. This guy cook gonna show me all my highs and lows once I start blocking it. But I think I'm gonna wait till in the morning and start it. I don't be in no rush. I treat it like it's my car. So I'm not trying to rush no job. It's best to take your time. So I think I'm gonna call it a night. Come back out here in the morning and start blocking. Then I'll be good to go. Alright, this is the following morning. I got all my blocks together. And I'm trying to decide which ones I'm going to use. I normally use this one for my small areas. And probably this one. I don't think I'm going to need this big one. I also have some round ones. A little narrow one. These some soft blocks here. And I'm going to be using some 180 grit sandpaper. I think I got some 150 on here. No, this 180. So let me start blocking. All you want to do is just go in a X pattern. Like this there. Your main goal when you start blocking, you want to try to remove the gag coat. It's going to show you all your low areas. Let me show you right here. See this here? That's a low area. I haven't even reached the guide coat yet. And right here, where I'm getting down to the filler, that's a high area. So I need to knock it on down some more so I can remove this here. So let me knock it down and I'll cut you back on. That's another low area there. Let me wipe it. Now you can see I pretty much got it leveled out now. You don't see no guide coat. See these here? It was high areas. That was a high area. 
it was a hot area there and also where the filler was at and where you still see the prime of them was low areas the prime just filled it up just want to give you an update on this I done blocked this and I found one little small area that's low you still can see the guy coat so I'm gonna have to fill this I'm gonna put some glazing put on it a little skim coat of it then I'll be fine right here and also up here got a little area here which the primer I fill that up and also here then I got a spot here in the middle when you start seeing the metal that means you need to stop because you can't take no more off the metal. You got to fill up the low area. And I'm going to fill it up. Let me take it back here. I'm just going to use two part glaze instead of my Evercoat. I got some here. I just got to put the heart in it. You don't want to try to use this here because it could shrink on you on a big spot like that. So let me mix that up and fill it. finished up with the blocking I had to go back and repair some spots that I seen that was low here and there on the car now I gotta clean all this dust up and wipe it down with wax and grease remover I'm gonna try to vacuum all this off first then I try to blow it off after I vacuum because I don't want to get all this dust everywhere It's all cleaned up now. I'm going to do this like I did the first run of primer. I'm going to hit all my spots first, my repair areas. I'm going to hit all them first. Try to build them areas up before I prime the whole car. Let me mix up this primer, then I'll cut you back on. Spot primed everything. Now it's time for the entire car to be primed. Then I'll be good to go.
finished up with the prime about two hours ago I just been letting it sit out here in the booth it's dry now I'll take this wheel cup off yeah I think it's gonna look real nice once I put that candy green on it it's looking more and more like a car now well a smooth car put a guide coat on this right before I wet sand it to paint it but I'm not going to do it yet because I'm going to pull it outside and start working on something else because I'm working on three projects at one time so I got to go back and forth to knock all three of them out and plus I still got to do parts off this car like the rocker panel, the rear hatch, the mirrors the door locks and the handle t-tops I just gotta do a lot of stuff for us paint that I'm gonna paint the t-top part black right here the door handles and locks I'm gonna paint them black then I gotta do the body work on the rocker panels with the side skirts